Let's work on changing the face of your minifigure to give more expression. All right. Brickology! Changing the facial expression of your minifigures can really give your brick films a more sense of realism to your characters. They go from being static to dynamic, and this brings more emotion to your stories. In this tutorial, I'll go step by step on how I change facial expressions. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I've got more tutorials and more stuff for you to watch. First, I want to show you the faces that I'm going to use. This is of the nurse, and what I want to switch it to is this face. And the last one will be this face. So all those three different faces, he's going to switch. And what I do is I put a bunch of faces like this, all these different faces to choose from. So um, they work really well. Of course, if just like this guy up in the corner here, he's got stubble. I can't use the stubble with this face or this face. Um, but all these other ones, like like this one or this one or this one, you know, or, or even this guy, they all work and you can just keep interchanging them because, well, it's fun to do that. So the minifigure doesn't just have one expression. All right, let's get into it. So here we are looking at Dragon Frame again. I got the character right here in the shot and let me show you what I've got so far. I just wanted to make this a little bit more interesting so it starts with the nurse. He's gonna look, see Freddy, and swing back. And here is where we are right now. If you notice here, this is where my camera shot is. I can scrub back and forth. I've got the onion skin going on so you can see his ghost image but here we are at the shot right now. So all I'm gonna do is show you what I do to change his face. And uh, this minifigure is awesome because it's got one face here and another face in the back. And all I gotta do is take off the hair, flip his head around, make a match up, and his face will magically change. All right, so I'm gonna do this in camera. Give me a second. You'll see my hands come into the camera right here and I'm gonna switch his face. So there's his other face right now. And as you can see, right now it doesn't really match up. I mean, I can have him turn his face and look surprised, but I want it to be pretty smooth. So the important thing here is, for me at least, is the eyes need to match up, okay? If the eyes don't match up, then something, you know, really jerks and he looks a little bit off. And the hair, the eyes and the hair, um, but most importantly, the eyes. So I need to swing his eyes from this one where he's scared, scared, so his eyes match up with the ones where he's not scared. All right, so see how I do this. Are they pretty matched up yet? No, nope, not yet. And that's pretty close, but not quite yet. Uh, that looks okay. That looks okay. But his hair moved just a touch. But let's take this picture and let's see what happens. Let's stretch this out a little bit more so we can see what happens. So it swings back and he looks scared. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, but his arm moved because when I was putting the head back on, you know, the body moved a little bit. And what I can do is to capitalize on the arm movement and to capitalize on the little twitch that he does when his face changes, but you see how the eyes match up, okay? I can make his arms swing up, his whole body jerk back a little, because when you're surprised, your whole body kind of reacts anyway. So let's swing him back. So now when he does it, oh, oh, his whole body's gonna react a little. Let's take that, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now he jerks back. He 
he jerks back a little bit more. Whoa. And now he's got to go back to his home position. Now you can see he's starting to move. Uh, his, his right hand moved a little bit. Eh, I'll keep that for right now. And then he's going to go back to where he's standing still. One, there we go. And there we go, I think that'll work. So let's see from beginning. Okay, that's not bad. Whoa, yeah, that's okay. All right, so that is how I switch faces. Now again, let's go back to where the face was changed. And I'll take the onion skin off so you can just see. See the eyes, the eyes are where it's at. And the head moves a little, but you, I wanted the jerk of the body when he's shocked anyway, because he didn't expect to get Freddy Krueger as his patient. Whoa! One more time. Whoa! And that's it. And let's do one more. Or he'll look at the camera and he'll be like, ah, darn. So I'll use this head. One on the ground right there. Let's get that more in focus. So that will be his, his like, darn it, I got this patient. I'm gonna close up on him too. So some camera movement here. So now let's focus on his face. So you notice when I do the camera movement, his face is going to start turning towards the camera, too. And that's as far as... So let's see this. Focus in. Let's see if I got it in focus. Let's see. He looks at the camera. Turn the onion skin back on. So now all I got to do is take off the hair, pop it onto this new head. And let's see if the eyes match up. The eyes match up. Everything looks pretty good. Ah, the right hand moved a little. But see the eyes match. The hair has a little wiggle, but um, I'm okay with that for this tutorial. We're looking at the face anyway. So let's see this from the beginning. Okay. There we go. And that's pretty simple. Let's see the whole thing again. And there you go. So things that I did in this video, I changed the face, I did some camera movement, and that's it. I hope this was helpful. You can use all different types of Lego faces, go through all your minifigures. There's a bunch of different faces, different expressions, and just find ones that match your minifigure. These different heads are great, for this character at least. Yeah, his eyebrows change color, but you get the idea. The idea is to give these guys more expressions than just what's given on the original minifigure. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, please subscribe and you'll get a bunch more tutorials and little brick films that I make every week. Be safe, healthy, and I'll see you soon.